sea rise is much more impactful if you see it than if you hear about it. And uh, seeing it means you have to get a camera to the dramatic places where it occurs. The balloon presents a unique coin advantage, if you will, uh, a unique opportunity to get to places where it can get pictures that other platforms can't get. We have two balloons. We have a mama balloon and a baby balloon. The, the two balloons, uh, one is inside the belly of the other, and they each have their own plumbing. And the balloons contain lift gas, which makes them lighter than air. And so they are weightless when they're carrying their payload. There's a very long carbon spectra strand that can be, oh, 500 meters long or 100 meters long, and it goes to a reel so that the balloon can go up pretty high as, or as high as you want. Obviously, the higher it goes, the more area it covers. The more area it covers, the less resolution. So the operator decides how high it wants to go. And we have a smart reel that figures out how much line to let out. For instance, in our recent King Tide shoot, uh, we had balloons uh, from the street level that drifted over flooded areas and got shots that you couldn't get because you would have got wet. And we had balloons that were from the boat that uh, took pictures on shore at phenomena that are of crucial interest to sea rise watchers, which is the water's edge. The water's edge is where the story's told. If we're interested in sea rise, not just king tide, I think it would be a mistake to focus on king tide because king tide is the symptom. We're interested in sea rise, which is the problem. And um, so if, if that's our interest, these images show the vulnerable places.